if you're urban explorer, military buff, or just out for some sightseeing, should you venture out here behind this gate out here on the outermost edge at Amair, out to the Conglund Fort. Well, let's have a look and see if it's worth a visit. It is actually free of charge. It's a little bit newer than the fort itself, but not much. From here, you have the perfect view of the sunset. And I think that is why you should venture out here. You would think that these were placed in the wrong place. When you enter this, it is actually free of charge. So it's a free experience you can go out here to see. And I have just entered for the first time. I have never been out here. When I was a kid, this was an active military installation. So I don't know what this has to offer, but I do know that um, I'll be taking a look and uh, you'll be knowing if you should go out here and visit it. It should be a great place for urban exploration and let's see if that holds up. One of the first thing we meet when we head straight into the fortress is well, we can't make buildings, but they are all boarded up and uh, you cannot enter them. So um, if you have a good idea on how to get into that, please let me know. I would like to venture in there and see what it has to offer. Ooh, another little one. And there's absolutely nothing to see. And these handles here, they are, well, rusted. They are, I actually think they are welded, yeah. They're welded on, so you cannot open them and get in there to explore a wall. The old casemate building, what was they used for? They were used to store ammunition for the big guns that were on top of this fortress. This fortress has a great view, we will get back to that. Walking along here, the old boarded up barracks, you get a sense of, well, a little dystopic feeling walking here. It's like everything is just boarded up and forgotten. But this was the old barracks where the privates had their barracks, their eating area. It was there they had everything that was not when they were on duty. And this barrack is from 1930, replacing the old barrack that was there before. It was from the building of the fort from 1916. So it's a little bit newer than the fort itself, but not much. And should you get the urge to spend a night out here, well, then we have these shelters and a great bun fireplace. It's, well, it's great for barbecue. And there are even some steel tables, easy to clean, easy to make food on and still keep it hygienic. So you can actually spend the night out here in these shelters and enjoy the beautiful sunset because from here you have the perfect view of the sunset. This fortress is built to protect Copenhagen and at its heyday it had long range cannons out here to protect Copenhagen to fire out into the Øresund Strait to hit any ships coming from within well, the Baltic Sea. But um, it also employs these. These are small well, rifle emplacements that can protect against any close coming enemies. And it actually has one more defensive strategy. But I think if they have gotten this far, this other defensive strategy is not that good. Let's just take a look at it. It's a mode like the old castles, but the sea is right out there. So if they manage to get all the way in here, I think they either have some ships to get here or they have swam in quite far, which would mean that this little moat would be nothing for them. One of the great things here is that this would be a great beginner spot if you are taking your kids along to do some urban exploration. And there are these areas that should be off limit if you were in a normal setting, but now you can venture in there. So let's get in. Oh, just have to put you down. Yeah, the sound might have changed a little bit. That's because I'm in a, well, a little lookout box. And this is where you can take kids along for the first time they're out urban exploring. And I think that is why you should venture out here. To get your kids interested in urban exploring because it's a great safe environment to bring kids along because some of the other things we're going to be looking at are not that kid friendly. But let's just finish up and see what else this fortress has to offer. I will just be heading out. Is 
stupid idea. One moment. Finally, get out and let's head further on and see what else this has to offer because there's a lot of stairs and there's a lot of things to see. It's an old binocular station. So it was a lookout tower. But there are many other lookout towers here. That one did not give a great view, but it gave a bit of a feeling about how it was back in the day. And now we venture up to the cannon towers. You would think that these were placed in the wrong place. This is an old cannon tower. And you have the hill right there in the way. But that's because it is how much I like it throws up and out and there are many things to look at here at the old radar platforms you are able to sit down enjoy the sun and just relax and I need to sit down right now because I've been walking way too much today not out here but in general I've been walking almost 30,000 steps today so I need to sit down relax one of the most irritating things about this is all the airplanes right above because we got the airport right over there. But if you want to see other interesting places to go urban exploring in Copenhagen, then check out right here.